Alrighty then, tonight we're going to start a new series on how to get good at trading. Come on in here, make sure you're following us over here on this and this and this. And of course, hang out here and you'll learn all the things there on Discord. And tonight, a very special guest with me, my buddy Zai, who is a Quake player and an avid basketballer. My history, my background, not going to get into it here tonight. There's an awesome interview that I did with Triforce Trader. It's releasing next Wednesday, but we're going to start into this series on how to get good at trading, relating things to gaming, um, everything from video gaming to basketball. And I, my boy Zai did a great job here with this. So we're going to go in and I'm going to uh, watch his video here tonight with you guys. And we are going to analyze it and put it towards, uh, you know, like we did in our last video where we were uh, discussing how we can relate things to our trading. And I think he's got some really valuable lessons here. So introducing my boy Zai from Rocket Jump Ninja. These are all his things. I'm not claiming any of this stuff. Let's listen in to Mr. Zai. Back in high school, I spent three hours a day working on my basketball skills. It wasn't to get good. It was because it was so much fun. That's how I've lived my life. Just doing things that are fun to me. So I was never really caring about whether I missed or didn't play well. That wasn't my focus. I was just giving it a go because I wanted to. What I didn't realize was that it was training me to succeed in other ways later on in life. If I couldn't do something, I would work hard at it until I could. It never came easy. If anything, it felt like I was always behind everyone else. Like it was so much harder for me to learn anything. But I wouldn't give up. I'd train every day until I got it right. And it's going to be the same with anything in life. You can't just get good at it overnight. You need to put in the work, the hard work. All right, so listen to my boy Zai telling you got to put in the hard work. Now, of course, we've got it jammed into 120 days. 120 days, that gives you 1,200 hours. We've talked about that in our previous videos. But what he's saying here, folks, like zing in on this when we're talking about putting in the work. You're not going to be good at this initially. Uh, even with Algobox, you've got to ex you got to execute on the tools. Okay, I'm handing you this beautiful set of of cheats here for the markets on that video game, but you're still going to have to learn the nuances. You got to know the rules, like basketball. You got to know where the boundaries are. You got to know how to get there, and you've got to put in some time. Put some, you know, shoot some hoops. Put some practice in. Take those trades. I told you guys, clicks, clicks, clicks in that last video that we did there on the gamification of the trading in life and putting in the. Clicks. The more clicks, the more ticks, all right? Listen to my boy's eye here. Put in the work. Just do the practice. That's what makes you good. You don't start out good, but if you just practice and do it, watch what happens, especially even with our tools. To actually train the muscle memory, train your brain, get everything in the right order so it actually works. The training of the muscle memory. This is that part that I was telling you guys about mechanics. You guys will hear me use that term all the time. Here it is, mechanics. When I say this, this this is stuff like simple things, like clicking, like um, grabbing a tag that looks like this with the line like this and being able to um, use your mouse, click on it and move it up or move it down, drag and click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. It's, it's actually click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click. This is a mechanic that becomes natural. Like for me, you know, this is like breathing after I've done, you know, tens of thousands of trades and you've got to put in some of those. Okay. If you're not doing the clicks, you're not going to get the ticks and the mechanics are necessary to do that. All right. Works and functions without you thinking about it so much. I'm right-handed, but this is a left-handed layup. A trick one where I switch. It took a long time for me to do this comfortably. Now I don't even think about it. My left hand knows what to do. You just start with the easy stuff, get the basics right. Then when you're comfortable with the basics, start taking on the hardest. Okay, so right here, again, it's something that's not gonna be natural for you initially, practice it start with the easy stuff so he said start with easy stuff why do i tell you guys like start with like a headshot start with the hmd start with a double dot stuff stay away from what what do i tell you specifically do not start with j hook right leave the j hook for later that little left hand crazy cool stuff yes it looks awesome and yes when you hit it you get it you know what i'm saying you're gonna get the crowd going at it when you hit that j hook yes you're gonna feel it it's gonna feel good but Take your time, work through it, get the other trades first and get all the mechanics down and then those will come naturally. Like you said, he doesn't even think about it. Like even myself, like I don't even think about this stuff anymore. Like uh, it's gonna become a, a habit for you to be able to come in there and you see me in the small account challenge, closing out my trades quickly. If it's not working, just boom, close it. It's the most counterintuitive thing I know. I can remember myself back in the day when I would like, okay, well, let me pull my stop back. I'm giving myself a little more room, right? That's what you always say. I'm just gonna give myself a little more room, a little more room to breathe, let it work. You know, all these words that we tell 
tell ourselves that are actually self-sabotage. Don't do that. Get the habit. Follow the rules. Make the tools. Do what you want them to do, but you've got to practice it so that it becomes a habit, so that it's not a forced thing and it's not hard. Okay, When he's first doing this crazy loopy thing and coming out and doing this left-handed hoop up here and putting that in, that's pretty tricky, Okay, even for myself. I was a big baller back in the day. I was MVP on my basketball team my freshman year and my sophomore year, and I was a point guard. I was good, but I that little thing right there, I still, I left my left hand out of almost everything, okay? I, I wouldn't do that twisty thing, but again, the work. This guy's got work ethic. This guy just keeps at it and keeps at it. And I do have that as well, uh, but I've got to want to do it. I never wanted to do the left-hand thing, but I was real good with the right. You know what I'm saying? And again, you don't have to be good at everything. You do not have to be perfect, but the things that you want to be good at, practice those and repeat and repeat and repeat. Zai's telling you, I'm telling you, see some more. Stop. You'll make mistakes. I still make mistakes. It's normal. No one is perfect. Yes, even me, folks. I've been doing this 15 years. Have you guys seen my small account challenge? I, I make some mistakes. I still like, okay, overtraded even today. I hit eight trades instead of my just five and six, right? And then what did I end up doing? End up, you know, with a you know, not too bad of a red day. But again, you're going to make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. But you just don't make those mistakes own you, right? You capitalize on the wins. You make sure that you've got that practice so that it becomes natural. And if you just do that, then the results follow. We are not magical beings capable of everything. We are right. the product of a million mistakes that continues to adapt and evolve for survival. So just keep on focusing on improving somehow, some way, and don't set the bar too high. One of your worst enemies in life is expectation. All right, so setting the bar too high. You guys have seen my members in our room absolutely crushing it, right? Our guys are averaging 1,000 to 2,000 a day. That's kind of normal in our room. Then when you're coming into our room, you've gotten wrecked all other places and you would have been just happy making a few hundred dollars and you're like, wait a minute, when I'm starting in, I'm, why am I not hitting that right away? This is a very big thing. Listen to me, you're not gonna do it right away. But I can tell you where it happens for most people, okay? Hold yourself to this. Hold with us 90 days. When you get to that 90 day mark, something happens. I kind of call it the light bulb moment, okay? All of a sudden, this flashbang of light just comes out of nowhere, and you're like, bing, whoa, holy cow. You know, you're like, I get it. What just happened? Uh, it's like the coffee hits in, and you're like, Whoosh. you get it, okay? It happens. It's like uh, Neo from the Matrix, and you're just like, Whoosh follow the pill and you're you're the matrix guy in there and you get it okay so hang in there keep doing it um that's that's my thing on that it's not going to become magically and don't don't set your goal way up there oh i gotta be hitting thousand and two thousand a day like these other guys start small okay hit it make it consistent because then you can scale up quite easily and again not scaling up like oh just get super big there's limits in what we're doing on futures but scale to the size that is kind of normal for uh for the futures contracts that we trade if you keep on expecting yourself to be the best at everything straight away, you're going to be miserable the entire exactly. time. Exactly. Focus on small goals, baby steps. Because not only do you need to build yourself up, you also need to get something done. You need an achievement to keep your motivation levels up. Just hit a layup, make a shot from a bigger distance away. It should only take something small to get yourself going for the rest of the day. Whatever. That's right. This is market replay, right? Go in there. Take the shot. Keep taking the shot. Keep taking the shot. Go. You know what? Go get hit target one. Fine. Just get target one. Hit the trade. Hit target one. And when you're stopping out, stop out quickly. If the trade just does not work immediately, don't don't sweat it. Don't sit there and hold it out. Close out that trade. That's a huge key to what our success and why our profit factors are so good with our system. Whatever you can do, just achieve something. And most importantly, you have to try. Don't fear what people will say. Just focus on the goal. You're bad right now? That's okay. Everyone has to start somewhere. I see so many people walk on the basketball court and not even take a shot. That's going to be sad because they're never going to make Yes. Okay. So folks, over filtering. This is a big one for us in our trading stuff is over filtering. What is that? Over filtering. Okay. Now you're watching my videos and I'm telling you about, you know, what you need to be doing. Again, my focus when I'm talking to you guys is about what's going to happen when you're live. All right. When you are, when you're going out there and you need to actually filter on that MACV chart, that's going to be over on the left-hand side. And then you've got your two charts split on the right. You got your fives, you got your twos on the algos. And of course here, you're either going to be seven, eight or six on the, that algo bar system when you're doing the filter from the left, but over filtering. Like you'll all of a sudden have this beautiful double dot green dot setup coming in here, okay? And you're like, well, I don't know, the red, uh, it's red right now, so I really shouldn't, so you don't take it. Look, there is a moment in the middle 40 days where you should be doing what? You should be taking every trade, why? Because you've gotta take the shots. Don't fear missing, okay? You've got to learn actually how to close out the trade, right? How to take a loss, this is extremely important. 
how to take a loss and this is a big one this is like trying to to teach you how to be a good a good loser um that's extremely important why we take that middle 40 days to do this well you're not gonna be able to take losses if you don't trade against the filter you understand like Go ahead and take every single one. When I tell you in your middle 40 days to take every trade you swing at or every trade that sets up and comes up, it's just like uh, with your basketball, just taking crazy shots. You're like, man, I'm never going to hit this. But you go ahead and you take the shot anyways. And, and you just work on your mind. Let your mind try to project where it needs to be for the basketball or baseball going into the batting cages and going... You know, swinging at everything, even the stuff that's outside the plate. Try to put the bat on the ball, put the bat on the ball. And, and that matters. You need to get that mechanic because that will make you good at the other stuff too. Without those mechanics and without those clicks and without that try, you're not going to get good at it. So take the trades, take the losses, don't over filter. Okay. Don't over filter, especially during the middle 40 days. And even in the final, the final 40 days, I do want you to start filtering more as we've talked about before, where you're really getting in there. But you notice when he's coming out here and practicing, do you see people? Does he have to play with other people? I've heard people say this, even Peter Davies, that moron from Jigsaw over there, who's just the most, the worst mentor I've ever heard in my life. I'm going to go into that next week on listening to him give a guy a mentorship thing and like basically tell him to go see a shrink is insane. Um, and yet at the same time, he's selling a software that should be helping people mechanically. Again, it just proves out the Jigsaw is a giant piece of garbage. Uh, personal opinion. Um, but you notice there's nobody out here on the court defending him. A lot of people are like, oh man, you know, doing market replay or Sam, it's, it's not, I mean, it doesn't help you trade. It doesn't help you do anything. That, those people, they're not successful. Number one, you can just go look at their life. They're, they're not successful. Saying something as silly as simulation is not going to help you is absolutely insane. The mechanics, getting that in, especially in our system, and maybe their system, it doesn't because their system is like hope and pray. Okay. So jigsaw, such garbage. Yes. Maybe you need to hope and pray. See a psychologist. Maybe that's going to help you out. But in our system, it is so mechanical. Let the system play out. Let the edge play out. That's built into the system and you got to hit it. All right. Make the mistakes to actually learn from. So they're never going to get good. You need to actually try things if you're ever going to get anywhere in life. Keep this in mind. You're not going to master it straight away, and that's totally okay. Don't keep expecting perfection. Expect mistakes and learning. Going that's back right. to muscle memory, in basketball, you have to train everything. The way you jump, position your body, and relax. Look, he's doing all these moves right here. Nobody's around. He's market replaying right now, okay? He's basketball playing, okay? Pretending the guy's there. Pretending he's in the real heat at the moment. You don't have to practice in the real game. That is a lie. Anybody who's telling you that, tell him to come talk to me. and You're going you're gonna to get daddy, all right? release the ball even if shown exactly how it's done you will still need to practice it for years to get it right that's right i can show you how it's done over and over and over again i can show you and show you but until you put your hand on the ball until you put your mouse on the clicks and you're moving it on your screen at your pace at your mouse speed all of that is different right. the same is true for life and your mental health you can't become some old wise master that is always content after a five minute video it needs to be at least six minutes long I'm kidding, it would take me years to master that too. I didn't learn to spin the ball on my finger in one day. It took me two weeks when I was 14, and I've been able to do it ever since. Yeah, that right there, I can spin a ball on my finger, but I remember trying over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But guess what? I eventually got it. So even though I know exactly what to do, somebody shows you, look, you just go like this. <laughs> Right? You don't do it the first time. You don't do it the second, the fourth. The fifth. I mean, you got it. It's probably like a hundred times before you kind of get your first like wobbly spin thing where you're like, oh, halfway decent where you might want to show your friend. Okay. Then you get really crazy where I'm like, I'll spin it on my finger and bounce it off my knee. Look, you can get more complex, but you got to start with the basics and you have to go through the practice sessions, folks. He's saying it. I'm telling you, let's ha this is how you get good. Let's go. And I keep developing the skill to be even better. I can do tricks like this now. Because Here we go. Like that, is he going to bounce it? I set my mind to it and I didn't stop until I didn't see I this part of the video. The same is true for your health. Yeah, passing brain, it on back and forth. Let's see if he can bounce. Oh, yeah, that right there. Yeah, he can do it. Develop. Awesome. Remember, no one can give you all the answers in life. They're up to you to find. You need to take one step at a time, get motivation. Okay, now he says this. These are some things where I a little bit disagree. He says nobody can show you. Uh, no. Uh, okay, maybe he didn't have a mentor. Maybe he didn't have somebody showing him. Okay, but now, in fact, even the moves that he's doing right now, he's mimicking Michael Jordan. He saw it from somebody else. He didn't just come out here and be like, I know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach myself a crossover, okay? No, you got to have it. You need to learn it from somebody who's good. Like, don't do, again, Peter Davies. You ever seen that guy ever trade, ever? No, the guy can't trade for, for a darn, okay? And he's absolutely... 
absolutely wretched mentor and their software is complete garbage and trash but i watch them try to do this stuff it's just hilarious to me all right you do need to have somebody who knows what they're doing to show you what's up in my personal opinion and zai again a little bit of disagreement i think he's though going to come back and say, say that you're going to have to put your hands on the ball and get in there and do it yourself which is what i tell you that you need to do but let the system do the work let the tools and the rules guide you here with algobox wherever you can and just do something get out there try learn market build. replay make sure you're actually moving forward in some way every day every day now what do i tell you guys for that 120 days i tell you like find a window of time where you're not going to go on vacation where you don't have any major commitments where you're not going to miss a day just at least in a 40-day section for 40 days go 100 percent every single day even if you got to do it way after work you're putting the kids to bed sit down you got to at least put in one hour a day for to cr develop this habit to crack old habits you got to just dive in and like literally inundate yourself with it for 40 days and then a 40 day and then a 40 day chunk and do not allow that to be broken, right? You just gotta get in there and do it every day. What he said right there, I totally agree with that as well. Maybe in a two, three, five years, you'd be exactly where you want to be. Now, two, three, five years, yes. If that's regular trading, uh, you're, that's probably what you're gonna have to do. Here, it comes much faster. Why? Because we have a cheat, right? A professional gamer, they're gonna have to go out there and they're gonna be like, you know, they're having to put their crosshair on stuff 24 seven, zipping around. Well, well, we've got a hack, right? And it goes, boop, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, wall hacks, right? We can see through the walls. We can see the walls where they are ahead of time. We can see multi-wall, all that kind of good stuff that we, uh, that we talk about. If you've ever seen somebody using a hack, I showed a video the other day of somebody absolutely destroying it in a video game. That that's what we do. So we are reducing that time that would normally take you two to three, which is actually, it's more like three to four years. That's exactly 10,000 hours to get 10,000 hours at eight hours a day is uh, approximately three and a half to four years. And I tell you guys all the time here that Algobox hands you about three and a half years that you don't have to do. Boom, three and a half. And all you have to do is take that last half, six months of time where you can now have acquired the 10,000 hours of time in something very specific too and not garbage because a lot of these people also waste their time with bad systems bad strategies so they'll it's going to take them even longer um but here with algobox you don't you just need to do it do what i tell you to do 40 40 40 and then at the six month mark look at your p l well maybe you won't doesn't matter just enjoy the journey so i hope that helps i'll catch you in the next video Excellent work, Zai. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Hope you guys got something from that. This is part two of our Get Good series with Getting Good with Trading, relating to gaming. And in this case, tonight, it was basketball gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed that. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang, let's send out that big H down to ya. And don't forget to hit those bells. I'll catch you guys in the morning.